Hi there, today I'm going to quickly show you how to remove colour casts from when you're using a piece of welding glasses and neutral density filter. It's an easy process, but just to give you a bit of a sense of the colour cast and how it compares to other neutral density filters, I've got an image on the left that's been captured with a B plus W110 filter, so this is a 10 stop neutral density filter. And this is straight out of camera, so as you can see there's not much colour cast at all. If anything it's maybe a slightly a bit warm. But on the right you have an image captured with the welding glass filter. Don't stress though, it's easy to remove the colour cast and today I'm going to show you how. Okay, so now I've opened the raw image in Photoshop. I'm going to show you two ways to get rid of the colour cast with the easiest way first. And this is by selecting the white balance tool, like so. And now you need to find the widest point of the image. In this case it's either the water or the clouds. I'm going to select the clouds. Wow, wasn't that easy. So what I'd probably do now is adjust the temperature slightly. And I'm pretty happy with that actually. But if your image doesn't have a white point like this that you can select, there is always another way of doing it. I'll just quickly reset back to the original way. And now what we're going to do is just change the tint and gradually bring it up to make it more pink. And also adjust the temperature. And there you have it, that's it. But if I was to make some further changes, I'd probably start using some curves layers, and I'll quickly demonstrate how to do that by opening the image in Photoshop. With the edited image in Photoshop, I'm now going to create a curves layer. Let's do this by selecting this, and now curves. And now you have three different color channels, red, green, and blue. I'm gonna select green, and gradually pull down the midtones. And now I'm going to select the red channel and slightly bump up the midtones. So just to give you a before and after, this is before and this is after. So it's pretty much in a state that I'm happy with and I'll probably make some minor adjustments after this including dodging and burning and sharpening but this is pretty much in a state of how I'd like the colours to look. If you have any questions feel free to drop a comment but also don't forget to have a look at the blog post I've written about using Weld and Glass as a neutral density filter that I'll link to in the description field of this video. Thanks for watching and catch you later.